Wow, check out all those stars. What do you think, Haruto? Pretty nice, right? Let's see. Yeah, they're beautiful. It's been years since I gazed at the night sky like this. Hey, okay. All right, y'all. Dinner time. Our first real meal com since coming to this island. Minimo arrives with several plates on her hands, in her hands, along with the fragrant aroma of food. It's a mole cooked animal meat on plates of varying color and patterns. I need. What? Yuma, your eyes are scaring That's me. Love. Ah, smells delicious. I can feel the love put into this meal. <laughs> That's the secret ingredient. Mr. Goat! Thank you for the meal, Mr. Goat. But, but I'm surprised you were able to start a fire. How did you do it? That's my love. I took a stick and sort of drilled it with my hands. It seems my love for everyone here caused a miracle. <laughs> I see. Thank you for that. Hmm. It tastes kind of gammy. It's really tough, too. Are you bad at cooking, perhaps? What? D don't be an ass. We had nothing to season it with. All I did was cook it with some fire, to be honest. This is bad. This tastes very Excuse bad. Excuse me. But you're eating the most out of all of us. Is your stomach feeling any better? The unseasoned goat meat is, like Rio said, very gammy. It can hardly be called appetizing. Still, we enjoy our dinner together to the fullest. Sharing a meal is such a gratifying experience, and wherever you are, it offers great bonding moments. But the happiness is short-lived and abruptly ends with Zen's single statement. Well then. So, who here would like to die? Everyone stops eating all at once, and the group falls silent. The mission provided by Extend TV, a topic everyone's been avoiding. Hey. No one. No one, of course. Don't be stupid. Mm -hmm. But we have a mission to do now. How are we supposed to advance if someone doesn't die? Like I said. Then fuck the mission. No, I'm, I can't do that. I'm gonna... Sorry. I've been trying not to swear. And even if it's dialogue, I think I'm gonna just self-censor here. Sorry. You're probably right. He's right. We can't just have someone die. That's true. As long as the show's true intentions remain unknown. I agree. It's dangerous to obey it blindly. Look. Or what they call human clones, right? Then taps on his stomach with his See? knuckles. As long as we have these, we can come back to life. That's what they said. What is this guy saying? Does he really believe that not that nonsense? Yeah. You really think that? Then how about you try dying? I guess that's true. Yeah, good point. Maybe I will. Suddenly, he has a glass shard in his hand. He presses it against Don't. his own neck. What are you? See ya. I look forward to our next meeting. Don't! No! I hear a dull sound of two bodies colliding and a red fluid drips to the ground. <laughs> it's Minimo's blood. I'm not letting anyone die on my watch. No way! Zen, that's enough! Quit fooling around! You're bleeding. Minimo pulls the glass shard from Zen's hand, releases it without resistance. Oh no! What have you done? Show me your hand! <laughs> Uh, gotta admit, it does hurt. Can't really move my fingers. Good grief. Good grief, such a strong sense of justice. But, hey! Zen, that was supposed to be a joke. I'm not laughing. Sorry, oh, if that sorry. was supposed to be a joke, I'm not laughing. Look, I'm sorry. I didn't think she would take it so seriously. No, I was completely joking when I said I was okay with dying. Damn it. You're still going on about that? Well... It's because I still live with regret over my sin. <gasps> huh? Maybe Miss Officer thinks the same way. Uh. <laughs> well, I'm going to bed. You can all stop glaring at me now. Maybe think about the meaning behind the mission, or rather the true intentions of our hosts. With that, Zen leaves us and walks towards the apartment building. Uh, I'm sorry. I apologize. It was my fault for provoking him. It's not like that. No reason for you to be sorry. He's the crazy one. <laughs> Sachika? <laughs> Our dinner's ruined. We were having fun. Oh, then... Why don't we call it a day? I'll take Sachika back to her room. Right. Yes, we should all get some rest. I'll head back once I'm done treating Miss Minimo. Sheesh. Let's start cleaning up then. Mind giving me a hand, Haruto? <sighs> yeah, no problem. Then? I will help as well. We exchange few words as we clean up after the meal. Then return to our own rooms. Even after the incident, the starry night sky is un 
unchangingly beautiful. I lie face up in my assigned room and let out a sigh of relief. There's nothing here to sleep on, but at least being alone at last sets my mind at ease. I stare at the cracked ceiling as I recall the words from Extend TV. Wow, this X key sounds pretty amazing. Wait, so that must mean everyone watching this program is a clone too? That's right. And the humanity restoration mission can only be carried out by our clone friends. Human clones, huh? I touch the piece of metal embedded in my stomach. This piece of metal is my true identity, so is the me touching it right now just a copy? If that's true, if the original me is long gone, would it be like my sin never happened? I mean, they're all haunted by their own sins, after all. <laughs> what a lot of what? crap. Well. As soon as I close my eyes, I'm overwhelmed with drowsiness. It seems my body was longing for rest far more than I thought. Before I realize, my consciousness falls into a deep sleep. Hey, Haruto. Wake up. Else is grouped up already. Your ass up. I slowly open my eyes. Cracked ceiling lights, tattered cloth, still the same ceiling as yesterday's, unfortunately. Wake up, Haruto! You even there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm getting up. I mutter as I grope around for my glasses, but the incessant pounding on the door hey. didn't let up. Earth to Haruto! You awake, man? Uh, your horses, I'm coming out. This partial voice acting is killing me. Sheesh. Oh, I guess you're a heavy sleeper, huh? Thought you might have died or something. Yeah! We're all gonna gather at the west shore. See there? Huh? At the shore? Why? Are we gonna catch no. some fish? Nah, we don't have time for something like that. Minimo found another island floating right next to this one. Check the TV. Or, no, never mind. Oh. Eight lives. That's not concerning in the slightest. And we're still in the prologue, too. Uh, oh. Space to return. The, this game performs well with keyboard controls, but the controls are odd. Usually I press escape to back out, but not in this case. All right, go to the western shore. Uh, let's see, so. Was it? Is that the island? Was that there? I don't think it was. Hello. Yeah, it definitely wasn't. Also, you can kind of tell the resolution is slightly different from everything else. It doesn't look quite right. Anyway, when I arrive at the shore, the familiar faces from last night have all gathered there already. Their gazes are fixed on the ocean ahead. Sure enough, I see an island that wasn't there yesterday. Island? No, that's more like... What? Runes. Haruto. Oh, morning, Harto. Sorry to wake you. I know you're probably tired. Good morning. What's that island doing here? I noticed it when I was taking a walk this morning. Never seen anything like it these past three days. Where'd that thing even come from? This show's buzz it budget must be crazy high. Amazing! It probably drifted here on its own. Such a big island, too. Interesting. An island just drifted over to us, huh? Sounds like something right out of an old children's story. Hmm. I wonder if it's a real island. It could be some sort of prop prepared by the TV crew. Hard to tell from here, but it does look about as big as, an I as the island we're standing on. Huh. See ya. Let's go check it out. It looks like there's a shallow path leading to the other island. We can walk right over there. D hey! Hey! Why are you calling the shots, huh? Right after that stunt you pulled yesterday? I thought I apologized for that already. It's not... If that's not enough, I'll apologize as many times as it takes. Sorry, sorry. Sorry, officer. I was just a bit shaken by that last TV episode, is all. Mm. You sound insincere. Oh, I... Ah, well, what's done is done. It's my fault for escalating things, too. But promise me, please don't even joke about anything like that again. It makes Sachi sad, too. You want that? wouldn't want that, right? <laughs> okay, I'll think about it. The hell? That's not a promise at all. Don't you realize how hurt Minimo got because of you? Now, now. No, no, let's... Let up on him a bit. My hand is mostly better now, so don't worry about me. 
Really? You were bleeding pretty badly yesterday. Okay. Yeah, look, it was all healed up come morning. Guess it wasn't as bad as it looked. <laughs> that or Dr. Mamoru patched it up real good. He must be a great doctor. No. All I did was clean the wound and wrap a cloth around it. Anyone could have done you it, really. Point. That's why I'm surprised by how quickly you've healed. Perhaps that's the power of love. I don't think love has anything to do with it. Sheesh. Well, if you say so, Minimo, but we're definitely not going to that island. It just showed up right after that Extend TV episode. No good can come of this. Let's go! What? But I want to go! That big building looks like it'd be fun to explore. There might be useful tools there, too. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe there's a boat or something that can help us escape from this island. Please. It'd be great to find a first aid kit or medical supplies, or liquor with high alcohol proof. I need more carbs. We'll need more food above all else, since it's uncertain how long we'll be stuck here. See? There may be more animals roaming around, especially if that other island was put here for show. Uh, I think we should go. Someone, maybe the TV crew, could be on that island. For real? Wait, hold up. Are you guys for real? Do you remember what the mission said? This has to be like a trap or something. Huh? So, just think of it as going on an adventure. Being childish is your sole merit after all. The hell? That's not true. Wait, that's not even a merit. You pissed me off, but I thought about what you said about true intentions of our hosts. What are they planning? I've been thinking about the, uh, the answer to that, too. Don't tell me. They want to kill us, or have us kill each other. Could that be it? Yeah. Right. Just like the movies, it's called a chess game. Death game. De death game, not chess game. Damn it. Whoever made that stupid cartoon just wants to enjoy watching us die. That island's nothing but trouble. You think so, too, right, no. Haruto? Actually, I'd like to go as well. We don't know for sure if they're starting up a for death real? game. What? Are you an adventure freak with a death wish, too? But no, but we might be able to find hints about our mission. The whole human clone thing might be some sort of metaphor or riddle. I see. A hint. So you're looking to find out more information. You sure think like an editor, all right. Bovio, are you going to stay here by yourself? What? Ah, fine, I'll go. I'd rather not be left here all alone. <laughs> adventure time! This is so exciting! I'm so happy! There's been lots, a lot of firsts for me since I got here. Good for you, Sachi. Okay, okay then, everyone. Let's get moving. Adventure, huh? I didn't decide to go to that island because of some thirst for adventure or because I'm an editor. Because the silhouette of the building there looks way too familiar. Last place I was at before I got here. Mashiro Garden Tower. I wonder if these runes stay open. Party formation. You can create a party of up to four members in the party forma formation in the system menu. Front back rows, direction of an enemy attack comes from, determines which character takes damage. More attainable score will be lost when the party is wiped out. Avoid death at all costs. Try having as many characters as possible in your party for a bigger advantage in battle. Okay, so let's, how do we, R? We also have rest. Ah, here we go, party formation. Okay, so we've got Rio. Zen. So Zen does more damage. Mamoru has the highest defense. Let's put him in the front. Let's put her there. Yeah, apparently Sachika is considered an adult, which is, I guess. And do we grab Zen or Ryo? Rio. They do about the same amount of damage. Okay, so when we return, learn skill. Anybody else have skill points? Aha. So, aptitude, senior aptitude, blunt fundamentals. Pierce fundamentals, surprise attack. So he can also get reformer. Art of survival. While in the party, non-food consumable items heal more life. Okay, and we also have things. So it does look like there are slightly different abilities. Only slightly. Because Yuma, Yuma has more food related things, but still like sniping and some other stuff. Interesting. Well, the other thing I could do is get them all adult aptitude, because no matter what, that's going to help, especially right now. Uh, 
At least for my, my current party. And it also unlocks some of these. So it looks like he might actually be a better uh, middle-aged. That is some spoilers, by the way, just sitting right there. Anyway, I figure if we, we level this up, uh, they'll be slightly stronger for this one, and we can maybe decide to change things as we go along. Survival guide. Base expansion. Toilet. Oh, increases stress when used. So, we gotta get a better toilet at some point. Research info. Character info, so we can learn character details. System guide. I'm just gonna kind of zip through a lot of these. Okay, no, I went into the survival guide. Uh, status. So do we see bladder? So we don't have to worry about that yet, which is good. Uh, let's see, learn skill. Oh, wait, no, no, that's only for the characters we already have. Okay, so let's close out of this. And we have one more stick. So let's give it to Mamoru. Or did I just drop it on the ground? I hit give. What gives? Where'd the stick go? I don't know. I guess we lost the stick. I guess I could reload, but like, whatever. We'll probably find more equipment as we go along, or just immediately die. So hot. It's so hot, but the breeze feels so nice. Sachika is the first one there, enjoying the breeze with her arms wide open. It's like a tropical beach, if there weren't any cars or buildings buried in the sand. Tropical beach? You mean like, uh, Waiha? Or an um, Amgu? Yeah. yeah, like Hawaii and Guam. Oh, so these places are called beaches, huh? This is way nicer in person than in see? books. You've never been to a beach before? Nope, I've always been stuck in a hospital. I've never gone outside like this before. Tachiko begins talking about herself absentmindedly. Just looking at her, it's hard to imagine how much she's been through. That's why I decided against talking, uh, asking her about her mm -hmm. hospital life. I see, so this is your first time. All right! At the beach, huh? That's great! Wanna make some memories with us? Rio cuts in and finishes my line. Oh. Memories? Yeah! Let's go make some. Yeah. Then take off your sandals. You can't be running around here with those still on. Okay. My sandals? Okay. Sachiko removes her right sandal and steps onto the white sand with her bare feet. Huh. Hope the sand doesn't get in her prosthetics. Hey. Wait. What are you thinking? Getting? Uh. Are you thinking of getting in the water? Nah. Nah. We don't have any bathing suits or floaties. The only memorable beach activity we can do now is that thing couples huh? do. Uh. Rio removes the sandals and carefully places them in the sand next to Sachika's, whispers in ear, and then begins to run. <laughs> eh, I'm over here! Sachika immediately takes off after him. <laughs> wow, this is creepy. Wait for me, my honey! Um, aren't the roles reversed? Despite all the complaining, Rio seems to be enjoying the island. Seeing them run around like kids makes me feel ridiculous for being nervous about the whole thing. <laughs> They're so full of energy, we could learn a thing or two from them. Where did he get those sunglasses? Did did he have them? I have no idea. Maybe he did and I wasn't paying attention. He was pretty great, so friendly and warm, like a cactus. Huh? A cactus? Not sure. In language of flowers, a cactus can represent a warm heart and a shy girl. Fits him perfectly, right? Uh. Oh. Never knew that about cacti. Oh my gosh. That's cold. Oh, you've done it now. Yeah, shy girl sounds about right. Good. To be able to laugh together like that when they've only just met is one of Rio's good points. Look. That's what you call childlike, oh, isn't well. it? Uh, by the way, Madame's already starting to curse the world. We should probably get moving. So hot. This is how I die. No, the sun should be the one that dies. <laughs> well, let's just head to that big building for now. Rio, Sachi, you can play later. We gotta go. Well then. We should get going too. Hope we find a hint for the yeah. mission. Are yeah. You okay? Haruto? Yeah. Oh, nothing. Let's go.
Minimum of points to a building. That's the same one I wanted to investigate. You can see the entirety of the building from my current position already. My hands are sweaty. And I know it's not due to the summer heat, but the anxiety gnawing at me inside. So we have goats. Oh, I see a stick. Okay, we're good. Well, it died. Okay, so we get another stick. Lucky me. I'll take it. And we do find some clothing even. Alright, so Yeah, it looks like she's automatically equipped that. Child triangle, so maybe it's better when you're a kid. Interesting. The other thing is submembers, tab, sorts. Oh! Oh! Got it. So, if I take it, I can give it to Mamaru. There we go. So, giving it gave it to a sub member. I get it now. I wonder what this is. Old beach chair here. There's a parasol beside it, too. Or, the parasol beside it is old, too. Okay. So, we do have goats around here. I should probably go hunt them down before I do too much. Whoa. I'll take it. Because, let's see. Oh, I should sort of hunt them down? I should be wary of them, because any damage right now is going to be embarrassing. Okay, that just means doorway. Okay, I was worried that I'd somehow, like, found myself in a dungeon already. Private road, no trespassing, or the garden tower. The Mishiro garden tower, so, yep, Lucky one and the same. Anything here? No. Just books and stuff. A lot of just books I'll still lying it. around. Lucky me. How do I change my active character? What is it? I should check that. Uh let's see. So survival guide system guide? Party formation. How do we switch better party formation? I mean, I can move it around if I need to. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Unfortunate. Okay, uh, let's see. It wouldn't be character info, and it definitely wouldn't be, uh, I don't know. Uh, it's... Options. Maybe you can check into the controls. Attack support. Ah, automatically switch between characters. Yep, that's fine. Display details. So press attack, hold charge attack. Z. Select action. Hold Cleon mode. Pointer... Parallel movement. Space is change character. Got it. That's all I needed. Okay, there we go. So now we can switch between characters. We're not just uh, filling up Minimo here. I wonder if these are randomly generated or if these dungeons are, are preset. Because to some degree... Oh. Got it! The vinyl umbrella. We should probably go kill that goat first, but let's... Oh, he already has the umbrella. Okay. Ready? Waiting for my chance! Full power! No! I see how this works. Right. So, I still don't entirely know what that pink line is. My assumption is... My assumption is that, that that pink line is, like, some kind of active, re like, uh, if you hit that, uh, it triggers the, uh, it triggers the charge attack sooner, or, like, the full party, maybe? 
mastering that might be incredible or incredible incredibly useful Got it. but i don't know whoa okay just keep looking around can't go there what's this it's like a message in a bottle but there's, there's just trash here. inside okay that would be interesting if like we were finding like notes and logs and stuff we probably will find more evidence as we go along which is kind of cool i like the exploration this is uh i Let's the post apocalypse is always kind of like a grim topic for games but like i don't know sometimes they're handled really interestingly oh probably grab these i'll take it oh those are goggles not a swimsuit top I'd say I got a little worried there, but like, I don't know. I'll just stick Mamaru, Mamaru in it. Uh, Found anything it. on these? Ah, notebook. Maybe it belonged to the liquor store's delivery person. Ah. Uh, don't actually know why that matters, I guess. Okay. Well, I should probably not spend too much time time like filling out the map here i i do it because that's my habit hey ready waiting for my chance full power no oh, yeah. murder goat yeah. so it looks like i can just run around with a full fully charged uh whammo why am i always why is it always her okay well i'm just gonna give sticks because that seems reasonable I wonder if we can get backpacks later on that increase carrying capacity. Uh oh. Well. Well, there are goats around. And we got some coconuts. This island's not half bad. Sheesh, you're just gonna be happy as a clam, ain't you? Awesome. Sachika is doing awesome too. I want it. Give me your juices. What? You shouldn't bite into that coconut. It'll break your teeth. <sighs> I'm detached from their happy conversations, unable to tear my eyes away from the building before me. The 10-story building barely seems to be maintaining its structure. The outer walls are worn and cracked. It looks like it was exposed to the elements for decades. There are no signs of human life, and the only noise I hear is the empty sound of wind. There's a set of automatic doors at the entrance, but the sensors no longer seem to be I working. I knew it. I knew it. This place is... Haruto. Did you find something, yeah. Haruto? This is Mashiro Garden what? Tower. What? This is it. I was here. I was here before I woke up on Garage Island. It's changed so much, but there's what no mistaking it. Look at the sign above the front door. It's worn down, but it says Mashiro Garden Tower, doesn't it? Hmm. It's hard to read, but... Yeah. He's right. It does look like Mashiro Garden Tower. Mm -hmm. Minimo? Um... I was actually a cop in Mashiro City and patrolled through the Metro Plaza under Mash M Mashiro Station a lot. Mashiro Garden Tower is the terminal building there. It looked just like this one. Yeah. I think I've seen it before, too. I've been to Mishiro City a few times before, so maybe that's why. why. But why is it here? Is this really just set a set for some show? <laughs> Haruto, you don't really think this is a real thing, do you? <laughs> I don't know, but you said it yourself. What if we've been asleep for more than one night? Oh, yeah. If we've been asleep for years and something happened to the world during that time, this would all add up. Come on, now. What are you saying, Haruto? Don't tell me you think the world really ended. That's impossible. This has to be some well-made imitation. Like, how there are artificial flowers that look just like the real ones. Oh, well, this is unexpected. Any input, madame? About what? I just want some juice or water right now. You know. This could be a genuine Mashiro building. Don't you know the difference between a real and a fake one? No. There's no way for me to tell. Mashiro owns buildings throughout the world. It's next to impossible to keep track of all of them. Oh, well. well that's not what I meant, but oh well. What do you think? Let's just go inside for now. There might even be someone in there. And it's probably much cooler in the shade. Yeah! Yeah! The door's closed. Maybe the AC's on inside. Well then. And let's break the glass and get inside. Like I said. You crushed my faint hopes already. Dr. Icho kicks the glass door, but it doesn't even put a crack in it. Mm. Huh. Perhaps my kick didn't have enough love. Oh no! Is it bulletproof glass? That thing is tough. No. We should give up. What? That was quick. At least let's try for a little longer. This place is for a mission. Maybe there's a trick to opening it. Case. Uh, like the generator right next to it? Right, a gimmick of some sort. Let's look around. There might be another way in. Huh. 
You know, I want to bet all of these characters are just in purgatory or something. That's like the entire point of this. Okay. Uh, ooh, ooh, ooh. There's a little bit left. So we might as well go check out. I'm not like super interested in being like maximum thorough here. But. Huh. Oh, I see. But there's like one more section in the island we haven't been to yet. I wonder. Let's check the map. Nope. Uh, let's check. Let's check status on characters. EXP. Until next level. 54 until, no until next level. So the whole party is maybe synced? I'll have to see next time I kill a goat. Because I wonder if uh, sub-members still get EXP. I hope so. I always hate uh, what is it? trying to train Whoa. you know, other characters up. Oh, research info. Delivery caution. There's a door on the fence. Okay, that's fine. Broken auto doors. The wiring for the automatic doors... Oh. <coughs> oh, wait, no, here we go. There's a door on the fence along the delivery route, which could be a shortcut to the main road, but it cuts into private property. Do not use it. Use the company truck when in a hurry. That's not really helpful. Careful. <coughs> Sorry. Still working off sickness. Uh, let's see. I am looking forward to being fully healthy very soon, but, you know... Takes a while. On three. What is this machine? And it's a generator. Okay, so the one thing I wanted to check while we're here. Oh, I can't do any base options. Well, let's look around for a little Lucky bit. Me. Uh, let's see. We this stick, okay. Cheap looking umbrella. Flimsy metal parts are quite valuable. So the stick is straight up better. Whoops. And I have equipped goggles goggles to legs. That's fair. Okay, so the umbrella is actually worse. It doesn't look like anybody's running out of status. I'm assuming. Uh, let's see. Let's put it on Haruto, probably. Learning these controls is a little odd. Uh, let's see. What's out of this? What is it? Because it's very clear that the uh, control scheme was made for Lucky me. for PS4, kind of originally. What's this? It's Mashiro Goat. So cute. I used to have some of this merch. Looks suspicious. It's a Reckless Guy's video game guidebook. Why is that there? We activate the generator looking device at the entrance and step inside the building. Beyond the automatic doors is the lobby. There was once a reception area for the office floor uh, office floor of visitors. Sunlight's coming into the room through cracked windows, but the lobby is still pretty dim overall. What? There's no power in here? I was hoping for some AC. Even if the air conditioning worked, it'd be pointless with all these cracked windows. The generator and automatic doors must be powered separately. The lights and AC aren't working. But it's cooler in here with all the dim lighting. Isn't this nice, Yuma? Right. Yes, I've burned too much fat just to get here. Why does she look so angry about that? Haruto. Haruto. About what you mentioned earlier. Why were you at the building before you woke I... up here? Oh, because I used to work in Mashiro Publishing, which was here inside Mashiro Garden Tower. Huh. Ah, Mashiro Publishing. Wait, really? You weren't some. You weren't at some tiny, small time publishing house? That really always sees yeah. me? Yeah, it was just a bit hard to bring it up with Yuma being here. I see. I see. From Haruto's point of view, Yuma may as well be a literal princess from a country. <laughs> I'll be sure to remember you. <laughs> it almost sounds like you're threatening me. All right. Well, if this place is re uh, whether this place is the real deal or not, guess we all may have passed by each other before, Let's huh? See. It's possible. I used use the Metro Plaza and the subway all the time. Oh! Subway! That's where the trains are, right? I want to go see them. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Let's check it out if there's a way to get down there. Hmm. It didn't seem to be a subway, looking at it from the outside. Excuse me? Rinko suddenly raises her voice. We're not sure if this is really Haruto's old workplace yet, right? 
So we can stop wasting. Can we stop wasting time and move on? We need to find the TV Rinko. crew. Rinko? What happened? Someone must have prepared that mechanism for the front door. That means the world hasn't ended. The crew must be hiding around, hiding somewhere inside. Rinko walks towards the automatic doors in the back. They seem to be rusted closed. The doors hardly move when she tries prying them open. She begins pounding on the door. <laughs> Come on, I know this is just an elaborate TV set. Hey now. Hey now, Miss Rinko. Let's stay calm. We don't. Oh yeah, he does have the sunglasses on his shirt. Cool. We don't want to bring this building down on top of us. This building is a set for a show, as you say. But there's a real weight to the debris and rubble here. Now, now. We don't really think the world ended either, but we should still be careful, Rinko. What? Why are you so flustered? Huh? Why? How? Why wouldn't I be? Would you still be laughing if, if the world really ended? If our families, friends, loved ones were all gone? Would you still act like nothing's wrong? I want to leave. I want to go home. I'm going to prove this is just a reality TV show. In this moment, I realize Rinko's the only one of all of us who's been facing the harsh reality since the beginning. We've all been subconsciously averting our eyes, but she alone faces it head on, on the verge of breaking. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have said those things based on speculation alone. Yeah. We got all excited about getting more food, but you're right. We shouldn't forget we were kidnapped. I'm sorry. It's only been a few days since we were brought into this island. We may have been letting our guard down now that we're starting to get used to things. Oh no. Rinko, sorry. I should have had my act together. Don't cry. I'll help look for the TV crew too, so please don't cry, Rinko. Oh. Ah. I'm um, sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to come down on you all. Yeah. We know. There's no need for you to apologize. I'm sure all of us want to put an end to this stupid reality show and get back home, just like you. Yes. Orto. But... I'm not in a hurry to go home, personally. <laughs> Uh, I don't really care either. I'm a bit worried about my farm, though. Wish they would have just outwardly agreed here, even if they think otherwise. All right. I'll help you open the door. I want to find out who's behind this game. Oh, then it happens. Our eyes meet. From the space between the automatic doors, a giant eyeball stares Rinko. directly at me. Right as I shout, Rinko's feet float off the ground. She lets out more of a whimper than a scream. Jesus. I hear what sounds like several twigs snapping at once as Rinko's chest bulges unnaturally. Red fluid flows from her mouth as she lets out a groan. All can do is watch. I'm not able to move a single finger. Finally, something bursts through her chest and it appears before me. The thing I see I, as I'm covered in warm blood is a tentacle that looks like a band of white snakes. I... Jesus Christ, this got... This escalated even faster than last episode. As the tentacle withdraws from Rinko's body, she drops to the floor like a doll that had its strings cut. My immediate reaction is put my arms under her for support, but I can't find the strength. I slept to the floor with her in my arms. You gotta be kidding me. With her face so close to mine, I can clearly tell she's no longer hey. breathing. Rinko, Haruto, how could this happen? You both... It sounds like Ryo's shouting behind me. Judging by the sound of his voice, I'm in bad shape too. The tentacle that impaled Rinko has pierced through my body as well. <coughs> I can't breathe with all the blood in my throat. Rinko is covered in my blood. I'm covered in hers. <laughs> so romantic. Is a crew member for the show? That's no crew member. Run! Rinko! Haruto! We need to help them! Someone, please help them! It's too late to save them. We'll have to leave them here. Their voices seem to be getting farther and farther away. It's cold. So cold. What? This light I've seen. Rinko. Ah! No 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 Splash? What? Good morning. What's your name? This again? It's me, Sachka. Haruto Higarashi. She smiles happily after hearing me reply. <laughs> we meet again, Haruto. This was the beginning of the game that put humanity's fate on the line. These are our sins, our punishment, the reason we were left in this world. 
is a question still left unanswered. Oh, I thought they were getting grabbed by tentacles, but no, the tentacles were coming out of them, which is horrifying. Well, that, uh... Oh. Yeah, let's save. Let's definitely save. And then I think I'm gonna go, like, look at some eye bleach for a bit. I mean, that honestly wasn't too terrible. I've seen enough dead space, but, uh... That escalated real fast.